Everyone has an automotive bucket list, at least if you're an automotive enthusiast. The fun part comes when you get to check things off of that list. Last year I got to drive a Daytona Cobra replica in Texas, and that was a pretty big bucket list checkoff item. I've driven a Jaguar E-Type around Tahoe, that was also on the list. Now though, I'm turning my attention to Japan, to an icon from the late 2000s and early 90s. I'm talking about the 2005 Acura NSX. It's not often that you get to drive an icon, an icon that's one of your childhood heroes, and that's the case with this car. This is an amazing piece of machinery that I've grown up adoring, and now I'm sitting in it, and it's comfortable. It's surprisingly comfortable. I'm 6'3", but I fit in this car, and I fit in it well, though if you're taller than me, you might have a hard time. You can scrunch down and go into full Formula One mode driving stance, but I can sit where I am, be happy, and then if I take the top off, it's even better because this is a removable Targa roof. Listen to that noise. This is a whole lot more Honda than my 2000 Civic S High. That car's fun. This car is just unbelievable. And yes, some of you say I can get overly dramatic. Well, prepare for the drama because this is going to be nothing but me gushing and falling in love with a machine. What makes this car so amazing is that it was developed in part by some legends who know what they're doing when it comes to chassis and engine development. Honda knows how to build a good engine. They know how to build a fantastic gearbox. This is my new favorite gearbox. This six-speed manual right here is so precise. The original gearbox in the Audi R8, that manual was wonderful because you hear the, the metal gates clicking in and out and that one was a sweet shifter. This is otherworldly. Honda always builds good shifters though and that's what you'd expect here in the NSX and the car delivers. Now, it's not an incredibly fast car. It really isn't. Down low, there's not much torque, so you're not gonna be building up the speed until you get past 3,000 RPMs, but you can do that quickly. It does rev fast, and it revs all the way to 8,000 RPM. At 3,000 and up, it sounds cool. At 6,000 and up, 6,500 and up, VTEC kicks in, yo, and it goes to a whole nother planet. I mean, there's nothing not to like about this car. The brakes are excellent, the steering is perfect, you know exactly where the, the tires are pointed, you've got the feel coming through from the road, from the tires, into your hands in the steering wheel. The handling is superb, the engine noise is excellent, top notch, the shifter is perfect like I said. This is automotive perfection coming together in a package that looks so good. The original concept for this car was styled in Italy by Pininfarina. That was the, the HSX, I believe it was called. It's either HSX or HPX. Um, and that was back in the mid 80s. That was a neat wedge shaped design that had no doors, had a Perspex canopy that opened up. A few years later though, there, the Honda designers came up with this. In 1990 in Japan, and then in 1991, it went on sale and it set the world on fire. It was revealed at the 1989 Chicago Auto Show. And if you could have been at that auto show, that would have been a good one to go to because they also revealed a little car called the MX-5 Miata. Imagine seeing both of those make their world debuts. If you like sports cars, that's like going back in time to an amazing period in history. But I don't have to go back in time because I'm here today with a legend. So now there's a new Acura NSX on the horizon. At least that's what we've been led to believe over the last few years, seeing the prototypes at auto shows and in videos and with two older comedians bickering over who's gonna be the first to have it. Acura's taking a really long time with this one and they should because it has to be amazing. Fans of the, the last Acura NSX love that car. To get people to love this new car, it's going to need to be otherworldly. And it could with the help of modern technology, the combination of a regular power plant with electric motors combining to do wonderful things. I think that's why Acura is taking so long to give us the new NSX because it has to be 
excellent. <laughs>